Here's a quick look at some of the native features you can use with Excel tables to do analysis in real time with Data Tapir. I've got my Data Tapir table right here that I've named Deals. I'm using the add-in. I can get and save data. But also I've created a couple of simple summary calculations off the table. The count, the total, and the average. And it allows me to really interactively engage with the data and learn new things. So I can simply come down and say, let's look at what's our total amount that's at our appointment scheduled stage. Okay, I've got three deals and all of my values have dynamically updated. These are simple subtotal functions that refer to the table. We'll dive into those in a second, but I just want to show the features a little bit more. I'm going to return back to all of my data. At the same time, I could say what's closing this month, and I can use the dynamic date filters in Excel. So I could say closing this month. Okay, and those have actually all closed. I can see that by the deal stage. What if I wanted to do, you know, instead of closing this month, let's go ahead and return all the data. But let's take a look at what was created this week. No data was created this week, so let's broaden that a little bit. Let's say what was created last week. Okay, I had three new deals created last week. So it's a really quick and easy way for you to do on-the-fly analysis across all of your deals data. And I'm going to return this. And then one of the scenarios where I think it can be really helpful is if you're a sales manager and you want to be able to quickly have meetings with your team and just pull up their pipeline while they're in the room, look at what's in their pipeline right now, do some additional filtering. What are they closing this month? What have they created this week? How much of their business is new versus existing? So if I want to have a discussion with John and really just focus on his new pipeline, I can quickly filter that down and we can dive into the specifics of each of those deals and I can see the aggregated numbers. What's the count? What's the total value of the pipeline? What's the average deal size? The nice thing is, while I'm doing this, I can even drop in and make changes to the fields, make updates while we're together, save those back to HubSpot, and see the to totals update while, real time while I'm making the changes. That's a quick introduction to tables and some of their native functionality and how you can use it to filter and interact with HubSpot data. Uh, before I leave, I'll just touch on the formula itself. So the way you get the table to dynamically change its metrics as you're making uh, changes to filters is to use Excel's subtotal function. So I have subtotal, and I'll just do one from scratch, and then we'll look at the other two. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. Subtotal. I select the subtotal. In this case, I know I want to do a count. So I select the count. I've named my table deals. So I'll select deals. And I'll just count the number of IDs that I have for any given query. And that's it. And now as I make a change, so if I switch from John to Sarah, my deal count is updated from 9 to 2. And if I flip that from new business to all, I can now see all of Sarah's pipeline. I can see that her average deal size is significantly bigger than John's. And it was simply adding a couple of subtotal functions. Here we were subtotaling the count. Here we were subtotaling the amount. And here we were subtotaling the average. A couple of uh, subtotal functions to a basic data tape here table and then just using the standard filtering functionality inside of Excel tables. Hope this is helpful and interesting. If you run into any questions on formulas or the add-in, please feel free to reach out to us at contact at datatapier.com. Thanks.